Whenever you think of good route runners in the NFL, you think of players like Stefan Diggs, Devontae Adams, Keenan Allen, and Amari Cooper, and obviously there are a lot other good route runners in the NFL, but in today's video, we are going to be focusing on Stefan Diggs of the Buffalo Bills, and as we have been for the past couple of weeks, we have been doing film studies on what makes players good, and if, especially for young players, if they can rebound from either a okay or a bad rookie season, and what they can do to to improve in the future and obviously in today's video we are going to be focusing on veteran receiver Stefan Diggs as he is coming off of the best year of his career and what he does that makes him so good. With the wide receiver position, there are countless ways to be a good football player. You can be a player like Tyreek Hill, a player like DK Metcalf, a player like Devontae Adams or Stefan Diggs, and that's what we are going to break down in today's video, and why Stefan Diggs is so good, and a lot of it boils down to his crisp routes, and how he just gets corners simply off balance, sets him up and goes up and makes a play, and there was a reason why he had the best year of his career in 2020. Now, before we dive into what makes Stefan good, and how he is, and who he is, is, please like the video and subscribe to the channel as each only take a second to do and it would be very much appreciated. Now let's begin. Now if you know anything about Stefan Diggs and what makes him a good player, it is that he is a very fast twitched muscle guy as a human being. He's very fast twitched meaning he can do all these breaks and ins and outs that simply a lot of people and normal people for that matter can't do. He's a very shifty guy and he has simply faster muscles than 99% of human beings, and in reality, it's probably more than that. But one thing Stefan does that is very good, and for any high school receivers that may watch this, he comes back to the ball a lot, and that is something we are going to see continuously on this film breakdown, and it's something we're going to show in the first two plays of this. So the first play here, it's just a seven yard gain, nothing crazy, you know, when you think of digs, you think of the catch against the Cardinals in the touchdown before DeAndre Hopkins, you know, made his play, and of course the mini Minneapolis miracle. Those are pretty much the highlights of Stefan Diggs career to date, but it's something like this, this little comeback and get the football and make it a lot easier because if he stays where he could have originally for Josh Allen to throw this football, this is probably an incomplete pass because the corner probably comes up and knocks it out of his hands, but because he comes back and creates more space, aka coming back more towards Josh Allen for a shorter pass, it is a very easy seven yard gain on this play. Now, another reason why Diggs is so good here, as this situation was a third and two in the red zone, so it's not like Buffalo had to go for broke and go for a touchdown here. As you see, there is plenty of room for separation between Diggs and the defenders, so really, in theory, if Josh got the football here immediately from the snap, tosses it to Diggs, Diggs could probably work around the corner or enough to get the three yards needed for the first down, and ultimately, he's going to go up the field a little bit, come back, again, work back towards Josh Allen, which he does a lot, even he did that in his Minnesota days where he would work back towards Kirk or Case or Sam Bradford or whoever and gradually just help them because, you know, he's always there. He's right in their line of vision. And as you'll see, he is right in front of Josh here. He gets the ball about two yards past the line of scrimmage and works his way towards the first down and ultimately gets Buffalo a key red zone first down. So Diggs IQ, along with obviously his physical and mental ability to play the game of football is very good. His intellectual intelligence here is shown. All he needs is a first down, three yards, does not need a touchdown, and a lot of the time when we see big players like a Stephon Diggs, a Devontae Adams, players that thrive and that live on the highlight reels that you see because they, again, are so good, it's ultimately the little things that they do right, and it's consistently that they do right. Now, this is just such a good play here because he very easily could have tried a double move to get into the back corner of the end zone for a touchdown and end up on another highlight reel with another corner biting on a Stephon Diggs fake, but it is ultimately a three-yard comeback route to get the first down that eventually sets Buffalo up for a touchdown and to ultimately give them the lead in this game. So this next play we have here is a man coverage, and it is a true man coverage in a sense of whoever they are lining up against is who they are covering for the whole play, and a lot of times in man coverage, if there is a crossing pattern like this play is, a lot of the times players will kind of just like scream at each other like, hey, like, go take this guy, go take that guy. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but this was a true man coverage in a sense of whoever you are on is who you are guarding the whole play. There is a single high safety, by the way, although that is irrelevant to the play, it is is worth noting. So, Diggs is in a crossing pattern, and as he crosses his teammate, he takes the up part 
and as you'll see Stefan creates separation at the beginning of the route by slowly kind of like walking and then he just bursts into a full sprint to which again it's a crossing pattern the under receiver could have also been had a catch on this play but he did not Josh Allen finds Diggs and Diggs makes a 21 yard catch and as we said and as we will continuously say all receivers don't have to end up on 85 plus yard plays to be effective this little right here to kind of walk into the route and then burst into the acceleration when the corner was kind of lackadaisical is just an example of why Stefan is so good and why he routinely wins plays after play against NFL corners. So this next play we have here is immediately a press by Jamal Adams on Stefan Diggs. And yes, Jamal Adams, for everyone wondering, guarding Stefan Diggs one-on-one. -on -one. Yes, there's a safety over the top. It ends about as well as you'd expect. Now, credit Jamal because it's not like this rep was entirely garbage or trash, and I'm not slandering the absolute, you know, what out of him. Because he absolutely, I mean, he hits Diggs hard off this press, right? But the thing is, Diggs kind of, instead of bouncing back, Diggs uses it as a propeller and cuts right into his route so it's basically like a seven route meaning Diggs is going to go towards the middle of the field and then break out and as you would imagine whenever he gets to that top part of the seven when he breaks out he essentially leaves Jamal in the dirt but Jamal absolutely did press him and the reason why you know teams and coaches say you don't want to press that guy think of a player like Henry Ruggs for example because if you miss on the press and obviously Diggs isn't as fast as Henry Ruggs now I would say he is more agile but definitely not straight line speed as fast but if you miss on the press with a player like Henry Ruggs for example or Tyreek Hill then you are going to immediately get burnt and Jamal Adams didn't immediately get burnt but as soon as Diggs hit his you know the top of his route where he turns in the route it was over for Jamal and the safety that was supposed to come down and cut Diggs off couldn't even do that so this play went from you know at worst Jamal Adams pressing him into a maybe a bad route or something that would be the best case for the Seahawks worst case for the Bills it goes from that to a 21 yard gain for Stefan pretty quickly and this type of play is the reason why Diggs is good so the next play we have is also from the Seahawks game, and the reason why I've been showing a lot of Diggs highlights from the Seahawks game is because a lot of what he does well goes on display in this game, and there's a lot of it to watch. So when we see this play right here, Quinton Dunbar, a veteran corner, is going up against Diggs one-on-one -on -one here. As you'll see, Quinton is very close to the line in this screenshot, and what he's going to do is he's going to show press as Josh Allen is going through his pre-snap reads, and if there's any adjustments Josh Allen has to make because of that he's going to make them but eventually Quinton backs out of the press and what's going to happen is, is he plays way off digs and the reason he plays way off of Stefan is because he respects his top end speed now obviously Stefan and pretty much everyone else in the NFL is not Henry Ruggs or Tyreek Hill but his speed is very respectable and Diggs 40 at his pro day wasn't all that fast not to say it was slow like a 4.6 or a 4.7 but he wasn't a 4.29 4.31 type guy either but Diggs game speed is very very fast and that's what Quentin Dunbar is showing and he respects his top end speed so what Stefan does is he just cuts it under runs a curl route and then cuts it back towards the middle of the field for a very good play and a very big play for Buffalo and on this play was back-to-back -back receptions for Stefan Diggs and back-to-back -back first downs. And the final play we are going to highlight in today's video was from a third and goal from the Rams and the Bills game early in the year. And this play for Jalen Ramsey and the Rams was about as good of a rep as you're going to have from everybody. The pass rush nearly got the Josh Allen, as you'll see when Josh releases the football. And Diggs had to go deep into his bag of tricks to create the very little separation he had when he made this touchdown catch. Now, obviously, we all know Jalen Ramsey is one of the best corners in football he can be argued as the best corner in football and rightfully so so Diggs is going to pull out a hezzy step or a stutter step to kind of to see if he can get Jalen to bite one way or another and Jalen obviously has watched a lot of Diggs film and a lot of other receivers films whoever he's going up against that week and knows what he has to work with which is the field or lack thereof there is obviously not a lot of green grass behind Jalen Ramsey given that they were on the four yard line so really all Jalen has to do is guard the back of the end zone and he knows he can keep Stefan in front of him and because of his sheer size 
and length, he can more than likely bat any ball away. But the thing is, is that early stutter step that Diggs had against the Seahawks, he kind of does to Jalen here. But obviously, the difference is there's not 50 yards of green grass in front of Diggs to work with like there was against the Seahawks corner earlier in the video. There's very, very little space to work with for Diggs. He barely creates enough separation to, obviously, if barely enough is enough, then it is enough because ultimately he got the touchdown catch. I didn't mean that in a disrespectful way, but this was very tight coverage and the pass rush nearly got to Josh Allen. And in a case for the Jalen Ramsey and the Rams here, it was a matter of having a good rep, but the Bills had a great rep. And unfortunately in the NFL, when there's differences that small, sometimes that's all it takes to win a rep and ultimately win a championship or a football game. Now, anyways, that's all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed took the weekend off and uh anyways i hope you guys enjoyed today's video so if you ever have a video suggestion please let me know in the comments and until next time have a great day love you guys deuces peace